Welcome to March's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is vowel spell checker. Given a word list, we want to implement a spell checker that converts a query word into a correct word. For a given query word, the spell checker handles two categories of spelling mistakes. Capitalization, if the query matches a word in the word list, case and sensitive, then the query word is returned with the same case as the case in the word list. So for instance, if we had the word yellow and we want to see if we could just lowercase everything and that's going to be in the word list we're going to return the first word that matches so this is going to be yellow here now vowel errors if after replacing the vowels a e i o u of the query word with any ind vowel individually it matches a word in the word list case insensitive then the query word is returned with the same case as the match in the word list so if we had the query word yolo right here we could replace o with e and O with a capital O, and we should return the first word that appears. Here it's going to be yellow with this kind of weird capitalization here. All right, so in addition, the spell checker operates under the following precedent rules, and this is important. If the query matches the word exactly, we should return the same word back. Okay, so that's easy. When the query matches a word up to capitalization, so case, sens case insensitive, then you should return the first such match in the word list. Uh, same thing with the vowel errors, you should return the first such match, and if it, none of those matches, then we just return an empty string. So we're given a word list, a list of queries of words, and then we're going to return an output of list uh, with the correct word returned. Alright, so the logic to this problem is not that difficult, it's just very annoying and cumbersome to write, but let's begin by thinking about what data structures we need to, to be able to accomplish this. Um, remember that we have to return the first word. So that, at first, makes you think we should do it inside of a loop, but that's not necessarily the case. If we just had a hash and created the key to be the lowercase, like for instance here, we should just match the very first word inside of our word list to be the, the value. And we can just skip anything else that matches the same key because we don't care about anything second. We only care about the first word that matches uh, whatever, whether it's capitalization or whether it's these foul errors. Uh, so let's go with couple hashes here and then we'll iterate down our query list and try to match uh, inside of our hashes if we can't match anything then we'll just return an empty list all right so the I think the hardest part here is creating some sort of logic for the vowels but let's begin by creating a couple hash maps the first thing I'll have is a word list I'll call it pure and this is just a direct match right so we'll just make this a set of the word list the second thing is for case uh, what we'll do is lowercase everything and make the very first match be the value for that key. Okay, and we'll do the same thing with the vowels. With vowels, though, I'm going to have to create some sort of helper method to help out here. But let's start by populating our word case, word list case. So for w in word list, uh, let's lowercase everything and say if w.lower not in our word list case, then we'll say word list case w.lower is going to be equal to that word. Now you can imagine that there's going to be other words that match here, but we're going to skip those if we already have the key inside of here. So we'll only get that first value. Now for the vowels, we got to do the same thing, but we need to create some sort of way to replace all the vowels with some sort of replacement character. So what I'll do is create a helper function. This is going to accept a word, and I'll have to have some sort of lookup for the vowels. I'll say A-E-I-O-U. Uh, remember that this is also case insensitive. So what we'll do then is say for W in word, and make that lower. We'll say if W, or I should call it C, say if C character in vowels, then what I'll do is I'm going to create a temp list here and say, okay, just add to our temp list, let's say the star character. Now, otherwise, we will append to our temp list the actual character, and at the very end, we'll return a string join with this temp list. Okay, so now we're gonna populate our, our word list vowel, and what we'll do is, it's very similar, but we'll just have to call this helper function call our helper function for the word. And if that's not inside word list vowel, 
we will populate it with this val and call our help function again like this. All right, so now we have all the data that we need. Now it's just a matter of iterating down our queries. So for Q in queries, remember that there's four match, um, four cases here. And I'll also create an output dlist. Okay, so there's four cases, right? There's the exact match, there's the case, there's the vowels, and then there's nothing. So the first match, if Q is in word list pure, then let's just append to our output the word Q, and that's it. Now else, if Q.lore is in word list case, then we will out append to our output uh, from our word list case dictionary Q.lore here. And remember, this is going to add that first one that we talked about before. Now, vowels, else if we will call our helper function, helper q um, in word list vowel. We'll do the same thing, but we'll also call our helper function instead of this lower. q. Uh, make some typos here. List vowel. And finally, if we weren't able to find anything, then let's just append to our output an empty string. Okay, so let's see here if I got everything. I believe we did, so let's return our output. And this should work. Let's see if I missed anything. All right, so kite, kite, kite looks like it's working. So let's go and submit that. So there we go, accepted. Um, so as you can see, the logic to this problem isn't that complex. Uh, it's just very annoying to write. Um, and I suppose the biggest difficulty here is writing this helper function. Now, what is this in terms of time complexity? Uh, I believe it's gonna be, well, I, I believe it's gonna be O of n times the length but that's going to be only a length of seven here so i guess it's seven times n so overall it's going to be o of n time complexity and o of n space complexity okay all right hope that helps uh thanks for watching my channel and remember do not trust me i know nothing